Hello and welcome to one of the weirder videos I think I'll make, because I'm recording logging into something. Uh, that something being an operating system. Also, you might notice it's kind of taking a little while to log in. There we go. Running in software rendering mode. Yeah, that's something that I need to fix and I don't know how to, to be honest, right now. But this is a VM, actually. This is a virtual machine of uh, Antergos, which is a derivative of Arch Linux running on my desktop computer and I'm recording it in my desktop computer and that's kind of strange but in any case I'm doing this because I am showing you Popbox which is a work in progress thing that I I oh that was a that was a bug just then you see that how like what I was clicking just suddenly switched from one thing to the other but in any case yes so this will be another video teaching you how to use git no I'm just kidding what was I gonna say so essentially Popbox is a thing for playing uh, game, well, no, not for playing games, but uh, it's it's a GUI library that I've been working on. As you can see, here we are, uh, demo slash tests, and I have a little window that you can click and drag around, and it's really slow right now. That is because this is, like I said, this is a virtual machine that's running in software rendering mode, which means that it's, um, whatchamacallit, it's... I can't think of the right word right now, but it's it's a it's it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. That is that's not working. I I can't think of how to brain my words around this concept. But yeah, it's basically the reason I'm mentioning it now cuz it's not ready at all. Uh the reason I'm mentioning it now at all is because I've at least gotten to the point where I have some mouse handling working because I've been working on this for like gosh, a month, maybe longer, but I just kept running into errors. Uh, well, part of it was I kept running into errors, then I gave up for a while, then I came back to it, and I've rewritten the whole damn thing like three or four times, and now I finally have it working, and there's actually this little, if you look at the uh, the code in the background, because I have a bunch of debug stuff, um, including lots of cursing, because, well, I'll be honest, just because I, I was very frustrated with it. That is, that is where I am right now. We have a window that you can click and drag around. We have a system for aligning things, which you can see this bit in the middle here. Essentially what this is, is that there is actually, actually if I hit D, if I remember correctly, yes, there we go. We now are looking at the debug overlay, which essentially draws little bounding boxes around elements and labels them. So you can see a bunch of Bs on the screen. These are box elements. And you can see there's a box element in the center of the screen. And then there's several box elements that are all aligned around the center of the screen. And basically I was doing that to test that you can actually align things properly. There's some text in the bottom right, some text with new lines in the top left. There's some boxes that have these weird X images on the uh, top right. That's essentially the test, the uh, image scaling. There's a uh, text, text, really? There's a text? I'll have to look at that again because apparently there's a text element over here because there's a little T. I don't know why, but there's two boxes. No, no, that's not a T. That's a B, but it's hidden by this other B. So it looked kind of like a T back there, but it's a B. And this is a box on top of a box. And essentially this part right here is testing, uh, essentially automatically filling something to the inside of something else so that you could make things look, uh, if you wanted a border on something, you could make a border appear like that. Um, there's also this little red square, which I forget get exactly what that tests but uh yeah looking at this you can see all the all this massive amount of debug code that i need to get rid of now in fact that's what i'm about to work on but uh real quick i'm going to open up adam which is the editor i use which actually i should no no i was gonna say i should go back to working on my desktop but see my desktop i can't compile i can't compile the code on my desktop for some reason and it's really frustrated also this right here it's supposed to detect what version you're using and uh do things appropriately but i think that's actually broken in fact let me just run it again real fast so you can take a look at that and let's see oh yes call this this bit right here it expects you to be using jack for your audio but i don't have jack so audio doesn't work on here and that's a uh, that's a bug with antergos or well not necessarily a bug it's just the i i guess it could be considered a bug in like the way the package management works but uh, in any case okay so we're running we're running 0 0.10.1 and you can see right here it's uh, it says unrecognized version but if you look up here this part here, if major 0 and minor 10 and revision 0 or revision 1, then it'll, it'll, it should detect it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be falling through to this. I don't know why that's happening. 
I'll probably take a look at the code and I'll figure it out. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, but in any case, uh, here we are, it's running. I wanted to go to the main real fast to actually say that little red box. Ah, yes, this is that little red box. And essentially, earlier on in the development of this, you can see some of these, they have a bunch of calls with nil in them. And essentially the calls with nil are because I used to make it so that every element had to have its parent element specified when you make it. All these calls with the C, those are those things in the center of the screen that have different sizes and whatnot. And another thing, you'll notice these say like set size, set size, move, align. The alignment stuff is, well, the alignment stuff, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, in this case, I used false. A lot of times when I, I do that, I use nil because essentially there's a left and a, a left and right, like a horizontal, and there's a vertical. So you can say left, center, or right, and you can say top, center, or bottom. Um, there's also, whatchamacallit, set size, set margin, all this stuff. But there's this thing that I added to dynamically modify the functions to make it easier. So I added this thing, uh, for, for instance, position here. Instead of saying get position or set position, you just say position. And whether or not you pass arguments, it will do the appropriate thing, which is just basically the whole goal of this library is to make it so that you can use as little a code on your end as possible to make a nice, li a nice interface. Like, not nothing too fancy, but just something that looks nice enough something that works well enough with as little code on your end required as possible. Like, all of this is just like testing stuff, but overall it's not terribly much. Um, actually, I, no, I need to keep that for now. I, I had this idea to change how alignment works that ended up not working out very well. But uh, here, uh, like I said, I, I have some, uh, it's just testing and various things. And it's very early in development and not very much has been done but I am happy with what has been done so far. And uh, I forgot what I just changed. Uh, some sort of test. Oh yes, the, the text that's in the center wasn't there because I had commented that out. It also has been skinned. That was my quick little test of the skinning system, but uh, obviously it hasn't been skinned with anything majorly fancy. Um, this window, I'm actually gonna resize this because I don't like it being that big. Uh, it doesn't need to be that big for a test. Uh, so I'm gonna come down here and I'm just going to say, oh, that, yeah, see this bit here, this WT child to align center, that tells it to have the uh, title aligned to the center. But I just remembered that I actually do call that title. So I can just say title. What's the word I'm looking for? Word? No, I'm going to say W2, and I'm going to say size. And see, this is that thing that I was just talking about where I don't have to say get or set. And it, like, if I just do this, it'll return the size. But if I add arguments, then it will change the size. And I'm going to change it to, let's say, well, let's say, let's say uh, 120 by 297, because that's a nice even number, right? And there you go. Unfortunately, I've revealed a bug in that the, uh, the window isn't getting properly set into the right place after that call, which is a problem. And if I hit D, you can see that it is over there. It knows its size correctly. It just hasn't been updated with the rest of it correctly. Also, the dimensions I chose are freaking ridiculous and it looks stupid. So I'm going to choose slightly better dimensions here. I'm going to say something like, let's say 200 and, uh, what should I call it? Let's say 120, 200 and 120. Let's try that out. That should be much more reasonable. Other than, of course, yes, that is nice, but of course, the window text is way off, and that's something I'll need to fix right now. But in any case, I just thought I'd make a video real quick to show that this is a thing I've been working on. This has been eating my soul and making me depressed. But uh, otherwise, otherwise, it's been good. Yeah. So go check it out. Help me out if you know anything about Moonscript or Lua. And... Um, give me ideas for what to do with it. I also need to rewrite the docs because it had documentation, but the documentation is out of date, which is why if you look over here in my uh, basically tree of all my code, there is nothing mentioned about documentation. And that's because I haven't gone through and rewritten it yet. And I'm sorry for that. But um, in my defense, you shouldn't be using this yet. It may wildly change. It's not even worthy of a 0 .0 0.0.0.1 release or preview or whatever. It's It's... It's really not ready, but I felt very happy that I at least got this uh, mouse input working and I wanted to be like, hey, there's a thing I'm doing. It needs work, but there's a thing I've been doing and this is that thing. 
So thanks for watching, and as always, see you in space. Sorry, no Kerbal Space Program today. Just working on this. I know you probably wanted that. I just, I just needed to, to, to do this. Thank you.